Hey guys, this is a quick video to show you how to set your hours of operation so that your restaurant doesn't receive any orders through Chow Local outside of your hours of operation when you are closed or when you don't want to accept any orders. So to set your hours of operation, you have to be on the main settings screen. Uh, to get to this screen, just go in your navigation and look for the settings tab. If you click on that tab, it'll bring you to this page that lists all your settings and then look for the setting for hours of operation click on that one and here you will now see you can set your hours for each day of the week um, and I'll get into this in a second before we get into the hours I just want to make sure because this is very important I want to make sure that I let you know you have to select the correct time zone so before you do anything go to the top of this page and choose the time zone that is right for your restaurant. You'll see that the time zones are organized by continent and then country and sometimes city. So for example, uh, with us here in uh, the Americas, um, we will have it um, listed like this. Let's just see here. We're in Regina, Saskatchewan. Now, sometimes you won't find your city in this list. That's okay. You just pick the nearest city um, to where you are. So um, let's just see here. This is us here, Regina. And so make sure that you select the correct time zone. If you don't select the right time zone, then your hours will be off based on the time zone that is selected by default. So make sure you do that. Otherwise, it's very easy. You set your time when you open for business and when you close or when you want to stop taking orders. So if you close at 9.30 p.m. or you want to stop taking orders 30 minutes before 9.30 p.m., then set your hours accordingly. If you're closed on one of these days, you can always just check the closed option. That way, no one will be able to order from you on that day. They will still be able to pre-order on that day for any other day in the future when you're open but they won't be able to place an order for that day. If you are open um, at two different times of the day, for example, if you're open during the morning and then your restaurant is closed for a couple hours, maybe after the lunch rush, and then you open up again during the dinner rush, um, then what you can do here is click on this little red plus button, and then you can set your hours accordingly. So for example, we could say that this restaurant is open from 11.30, to 1.30 and then from 2.30 and we'll do p.m. Uh, to 9, 9 p.m. So that's how you do that. Make sure to select the time from the drop-down list. So now the restaurant will automatically close uh, after 1.30 and it'll open up again at 2 and then people can order again. Um, once you've made changes to your hours, make sure to hit the save button so that those changes can be saved. And that's it.